we've changed our spaces quite a bit. So we've um, taken out some seating, made sure that we have areas clear f to maintain physical distancing in our branches. It feels much more open when you come inside. Our patrons can come, come in and browse. That's our biggest change right now is that people can actually come back in, um, browse for selections themselves. Our staff are still more than happy to help um, people select items, but uh, you can go to the shelves on your own. <laughs> Um, and so, you know, we ask that people don't touch stuff too, too much, but um, it's okay if you take something off and, and then put it back, that's okay. Uh, anything that has to, you know, you take it to a table and take a look at it, then we'll put that into quarantine. But uh, anything, you know, just like light browsing is okay and, and is encouraged. People are really grateful to be back. We've missed our patrons and our patrons have missed us too. And they've just missed being able to come in and enjoy our spaces. Um, the computers have been really popular, so there's been, you know, the, the pandemic has really highlighted some of that digital divide and, and people who may not have access to computers or the internet, and they've really missed having, having that access, so the computers are busy, um, and again, people are just happy to come in and browse. It's, it's one thing to place a hold, um, go on, if you know what you want, that's easy, but if you just want to see what's new and, you know, take a look at the cover and see what looks exciting, people have really missed doing that, so um, they're grateful just to be back in our spaces. The computers are our first come first serve and it's an hour uh, limit, so it's a little shorter than our usual limits just to make sure that we can get as many people through uh, at a time because we are limiting in our spaces to the 50 person um, capacity limit. So just to make sure that as many people can enjoy as possible, We're, we do have that one hour limit and then everything is wiped down afterwards. And, uh, and then we also ask patrons to kind of keep things tidy themselves too. So. When patrons come in, now we're a little, being a little bit more proactive in terms of um, speaking to everyone. So everyone who comes in, you know, can I help you find something? Just making sure that they are going to what they need to do and then and then heading out so that other people can come in and use the spaces. For now, everything is still um, being done online. So it's all virtual. We're not doing any uh, programming in our spaces quite yet. Um, continuing to reevaluate that in, in terms of what is safe to do. People can go on our Facebook page, on our website, and access that programming. We do have uh, registered programs for story time still continuing, as well as things that people can go and watch whenever at their leisure. Um, and that stuff has still been pretty popular. And to be honest, for some of the parents, it's been a welcome change in a way. They don't have to get a kid all ready in the car seat and you know um, they can just log in at home and, and I mean I know people do miss that social interaction element of the programming and we do too um, we definitely want that back as soon as we can so we'll put together a, a selection of items on a theme so if you don't feel comfortable going to the shelves on your own um, you just want to come in grab something and head out again you can take one of those just different things like you know historical fiction or there, some of them have been kind of funny themes and our staff have a good time selecting the items so it's a little bit of a mystery um, bag of items and you take it home. One of the things we're going to keep is curbside pickup. So that service um, offering that has been so nice for patrons. Um, the, the, our senior population, families, it's been so helpful for them to, to just be able to grab something quickly. So we're going to continue that service. So uh, Express Pickup is here to stay. The other thing is we've gone um, 
a little further in our technology than we maybe would have had not for the pandemic. So um, we have a new product called Niche Academy and it's so we've got our um, academy on our website and people can go online and access the virtual programming that we provide on, on there. And it's also been helpful for our staff in terms of it being a training tool. So we were always sort of planning on doing that, but it just, it became a need so much quicker um, because of the pandemic and it's it worked out great. You know, we're happy to, we're ready to welcome you back. So our spaces are clean, uh, physical distancing is easy, we have large buildings and uh, just, just come back and visit us and see what's changed. So, you know, during the pandemic, we did a lot of work um, behind the scenes inside just to make sure that our spaces are still as vibrant as they always were and of course we miss that community hub um, hum of the library and it'll come back um, as people feel more, more and more comfortable in this type of environment but uh, and we can't wait.